Hi, this is Jim Rush with Verba Technologies. I'm a pre-sales engineer, and today we'll be covering communication policies within Ethical Wall. You can see here that we have a description of the communication policy as well as a sequence number very similar to a ACL uh, to set priorities and order of operations. Uh, participants can be anything from everyone in the organization down to specific users, uh, different groups. You can do everyone except to do some exemptions as well. Uh, the modalities that we cover typically are presence, IM, voice, video, file transfer, and screen sharing. And then in the middle here, we have the actual rules related to that. So the X's will denote blocking, and then we have uh, transparent, which would really just allow communication to happen um, and, and log it. Additionally, you'll see direction arrows. So these uh, communication policies can be acted in, in one direction or in, in both directions, depending on the scenario. Um, one example of a single direction would be, you know, presence level for the executive team. You know, you want them to be able to see everyone's presence, but everyone can't see their presence within the system. And then we can also do some time of day type things. So in example number two here, we have disable video conferencing where we're blocking video. Um, and that's actually a time-based routing, which if we click into this scenario, um, we'll be able to see that we can set the validity of this um, days of week, time of day routing to allow us to block that communication um, based on network needs um, and, and allow it for staff levels.